So Mark Winsky, who is our next AIS client speaker, he's been a professional actor and singer for over a decade, a brilliant actor and singer, let's just say. He's appeared off Broadway and on numerous television shows. He's also a TikTok and Instagram influencer with hundreds of thousands of followers, and his focus is what is it like to be a person who stutters. Using humor and captivating visuals, he smashes stereotypes of what people who stutter can and cannot achieve. This is Mark, everybody. A director told me once, you promised us that you wouldn't stutter during the show. You need to stop being so lazy and work harder to stop that from happening. A few years later, I had just finished another contract and I had a final callback for a big Broadway show. Uh, I'd spent days perfectly perfecting everything within that audition packet from perfectly timed cadence and phrases to prolongations so perfectly hidden that nobody could ever notice a stutter. I w walked into the room, sang my song fluently, if you didn't know, and crushed it. It was so great, so great. And then came the dialogue, and I stuttered. And boy, did I stutter a lot. When I was done, the casting team and the uh, director, who, who I knew very well, said, thanks for coming in, Mark. We love your work. That walk from the center of that audition room to the door was one of the longest walks of my life a never-ending hallway of shame. The door slammed behind me like a ton of bricks just weighing down on my soul. And I just remember standing there underneath the fluorescent lighting, head down, thinking, You are a worthless human being that doesn't deserve any of this. You blew it. All of your hard work and you messed it up in the audition room again. And then something shot down from above like a lightning bolt. Wait. <laughs> Wait, I can't do it this way anymore. I, if, if, if I'm going to be continuing this career, I, I can't do it this way. It doesn't give j j justice to a any of my d directors, to any of my fellow a a actors, casting, and even the characters I'm portraying. It doesn't give them that truth by hiding a part of who I truly am. I, w I wasn't actually acting. I was in living truthfully under imaginary circumstances. I was just trying to say some words as f fluently as possible. And that, I guarantee you, is not acting. That w wasn't authentically me. Before this time, I, 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 I also said, uh, I'm so passionate about acting and, and, and performing because I don't stutter 
when I perform. And that was a bold-faced lie to everyone in my life. And that was because of the shame I'd, I'd had in, in openly stuttering through my career. Now, question for, for all, all of you. Uh, did, did, did we have any posters hanging in our bedroom growing up? You can answer. Yeah, what do we have? Shout them out. Let's see. What was that? Sean Cassidy. Okay, what else? Jonathan Taylor Thomas? Yeah, okay. Justin Timberlake, Beatles, Jonas Brothers, Ferris Bueller, all these incredible human beings. Me, I had this poster right there. Famous people who stutter. Right on the wall. And it had James Earl Jones. And it had Bruce Willis. And it had this... um. Uh, oh shoot, shoot. Uh, em, Emmy, em, Emily, Emily, em, Emily, the blunt, 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 blunt. <laughs> Emily Blunt. And uh, yeah, woo, love that. And all of these incredible human beings who happen to be artists as well. And it was in that time that I thought that I had to be like that. I I had to be a. F- fluent speaker, to, to be taken seriously as a trained artist. I was being told by so many professionals in my life in this business that I couldn't become a successful actor as a person who stutters in this entertainment world. It was AIS that helped me find my true, authentic vo- voice. Through, through, through their support, I'm now able to face my deepest, darkest fears and see that my, 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 my unique voice is needed in this world. Not just for me, but for millions of others so they can feel safe, so they can feel heard, so they can be themselves so they can be represented on the stage and on the screen. Representation truly does matter. And I'm so, so honored to be part of that change. Thank you.